Greetings, welcome back to Sinking City. And now we have to get to the university. Right around here. God damn it, that's gonna be a walk. But we can te teleport. Oh, God damn it, I just noticed that I didn't have to go all the way around here. I could have used the phone booth. Damn it. Hmm. Never mind then. Let's get. Yeah, come on, come on, work with me. Cooperate. Thank you. Oh, oh my. Ah, I. Ow. My elbow. Damn it. Um, oh, okay. Now, where do we. What the hell happened here? I don't think it's very effective. Can we go inside? No. Isn't that the house that... No, it's on the other side. But damn, it would be... Let's go fast. Let's be quick about that. Let's quickly get out of here. And we're done. Great! We're safe! <laughs> okay, now it's just a quick swim to the other side. And straight to the university, right? Yeah! Oh, I thought I, I was in the newly found infested area. That would be horrible. Okay, first of all, phone booth. That's my highest priority so far. <laughs> so I found out that I can actually use them to move around. Where is it though? Here. Okay. Nice. And as for the university. Whoa, what was that? As for the university. People are sleeping here. And this is the way in. Hello. 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 Welcome to, to the University of Oakmont. <laughs> How can I help you? Oh, hello. Looking for Professor Westerbrook. You know where I can find him? You're, you're, you're the one bringing him the specimen? Uh, specimen? Oh, oh n never mind. Uh, uh, he, he's in the d Department of Medicine. Let, let, let me show you. You recognize this bottle? You know where it comes from? Uh, uh, sorry. <laughs> we have hundreds of b bottles like this in the university. Uh, fine. I need to know what's in it. Any suggestions? Ah, uh, you need an, a, an analysis. Well, I'm sure someone from the Department of Medicine c c can help there. Okay, so I guess our university trip Goodbye, sir. will only mean going to the Department of Medicine. Interesting. Hello. Oh. To deliver me the books, right? Um, no, you must have me confused with someone else. Oh, excuse me. I'm just worried for the fate of these tomes. It's been a week without news from Wendell. Maybe you can help me. I I'd reward you, of course. I think you'd like those books of the rain. Know well, that? Why not? What can I do? Oh, marvelous. Let's get acquainted then. Samuel Hopes, honorary member of Altera Pa's book club. Charles Reed, private eye. Good, good. Listen, we're missing three rare books. One was taken for restoration while the other two were being studied. I asked Windle to contact all parties, but he's gone quiet. Here's our records. Please, retrieve the tomes. They're so very valuable. Okay, tell me about them. They're the third, seventh, and ninth tomes written by the humble servant. The collection of all eleven books is our most prized possession. The author's real name is a mystery, but we know that he was an Oakmonter for sure. 
Okay. okay. I'm on it. Eventually. Finding the second book, finding the seventh book. Where's the way in? Hmm. I wonder if I can eavesdrop down to the really what is going on? Can she load mm, for good? Hello, mister. Hello, sir. Welcome to Oldmark University Department of Medicine. I'm Samuel. Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. I have a few questions if you don't mind. You recognize this bottle? Maybe you could tell me what's inside. Hmm. That's one of our lab bottles. We have a lot of them. As for what's inside, I'd need to run some tests. Uh, could you do that for me? These tests aren't cheap. And the other day, I could get right to it, but we're, uh, somewhat hindered right now. What's up? Our lab is crawling with, well, no. creatures. No. Professor Westerbrook's research no. is a little unconventional, and something went wrong. Really wrong. Isn't there some other lab you could use? Uh, I'm afraid not. Our lab is the only one left in one piece. <sighs> Never mind. So, if I do a little pest control for you, you'll run those tests for me. For free? Our budget is tight. You'd be helping the cause of science, Mr. Reed. Isn't that enough? Oh, I guess science could help itself. All right. Yes, you solve our problem, and I'll run the test for you. Off the books. Here's the key for the basement. I hate it. I really hate it. <sighs> Eod is banned to all staff and students of the University of Oakmont. Henceforth, any mention of the Everyone's Obvious Duty organization, also known as EOD, is its, sim its symbolics, current and or past members, as well as espousing their beliefs, is forbidden on university grounds on pain of dismissal and or expulsion. The administration has received numerous reports of EOD activity and outreach disguised uh, as so-called charity work throughout our, our university and all, uh, over Oakmont. This dangerous activity has reached epidemic proportions and cannot be tolerated. Administration of the Board of Trustees. It's age! God damn it. Give me those. Yeah. Okay, this is fine, but that thing? It didn't react. That's a good sign. Okay. The lab is clear. Okay. Ugh. Nope. Keep pressing the wrong thing. Nope. Nope. I'll get it eventually. Don't like shooting the little ones, they always. March 2nd. I have finally received a living specimen. Sadly, it's only the smallest one. The grunts call it Mr. Handsome, but I think it needs a proper name. March 3rd. Was thinking about the name for the specimen all night. I began a series of experiments on the, on the creature. So far, it has proven exceptionally resistant uh, to all the poisonous substances at my disposal, as well as acid and electrocution. It's, it's shrieking, though it's bound to haunt me. March 5th. Last night I had a vision, thousands of hands wrapped around me as a blanket, and I heard the name inside my head. Stygian Harvester. What kind of person would even touch this? Not to mention dissect it. I don't know. Damn, those hands. Some serious equipment they've got here. 
Oakmont University is clearly well funded. Was well founded. I wonder what would happen if I press this button. Should I or shouldn't I? So very tempting. Okay, I don't think I want to know what's going to happen because I have an idea. I'm glad this thing is dead. Why do they even keep it here? I have a, I have a slight idea what might happen. March 10th. With those pesky limitations removed, I can finally continue my experiments unhindered. I need to know more. The specimen remained alive even with half of its internal organs removed. It's fascinating. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough in biology as we know it. March 15th. I've developed a way to re reanimate their tissue even in one that's been dead for weeks. This is monumental. The possibilities of it, the implications. Does this hint at something hidden, some trait present inside other creatures and perhaps even ourselves? I will need to find volunteers. No way in hell am I re reanimating that. And this is what's gonna happen if I press that button. No. Let me tell you. No, I'm not touching that button. Or maybe. Should I? First of all, I would need to learn how to use those. Okay. If I do it like. Do they deal damage or are they just ensnaring the creature? Okay. Good. Save. Yes. Nope. Again, the wrong one. And let's. I don't want to tell. Told you so, but. Okay, it's only ensnaring. Traps only ensnare the creature. And I should use more of them. <laughs> I'll try once again. Should try shooting at the yellow point inside. I think it's doable. But I need to reload my revolver first. It takes awfully long to do so. On the run. Yeah. Come on. Hello? Oh, my controller died? Better now than... No, it's still... At the... Okay, I'll load my own file. Give me a second. Okay, apparently we're being kicked, uh, kicked out of the university as I load even my own manual save file. Wait, is... Yeah, I think it's done. Oh my god, so many clues. Ooh. Okay, and mine pause. The EOD ranks are swelling. Okay. Let's get back to the medical department. There are still, there are still some stuff to find there, I think. Is that the yeah, interesting. We'll go through and through to see what we can find. It's clear. <laughs> Nearly. Creature free. Excellent, Mr. Reed. You've done us a great favor. Now we can get things up and running again. Your lab was uh, interesting. Running experiments on those creatures, what's up with that? Oh, they're fascinating, aren't they? Convincing evidence of new branches in the evolutionary tree. Can you blame us for taking an interest? Yes. Maybe not, but so much dead flesh down there, that's going to attract scavengers. Didn't you think about that? Uh, hmm. Yeah, well, no. <laughs> well, be more careful in the future. 
points taken. Okay. I've done my part. Here's the bottle. Now you run those tests. Uh, yes. Wait here. It shouldn't take long. Okay. We finished that analysis, sir. It's, well, it's ricin. Ricin? A highly toxic poison extracted from castor beans. It's slow acting, but absolutely fatal to humans. How can you tell if someone's been poisoned with ricin? The symptoms take several days to develop. At first, it's like a common cold. But over several days, well, it develops into hemorrhage, internal organ failure, and death. It's not a pleasant way to die. So, where do you get ricin? This isn't something you can pick up from a drugstore. Ah, uh, about that. It is rare, but we have a certain amount of it here. For study, in our poison store. Or we did. I'm afraid that must be where it came from. The label had been tampered with, but it certainly looks like ours. Where did you find it? Ah, <sighs> crime scene. Someone was trying to poison a bunch of fish with it. This is horrible. I need to warn everyone in the university about this. There's some kind of cure for ricin? I'm afraid not. Once it's in your system, it's a death sentence. Who's got access to where the poison's stored? Only Professor Westerbrook has the key. His office is upstairs, right alongside Professor Cavendish's. Professor Westerbrook's not here, though. He's been sick for the last few days. Professor Cavendish is away as well, on vacation. And where do they live? I'm not sure, but probably somewhere in Advent. Most of the teaching staff live there. Wait, you don't think it was one of them? I'm working on that. Can you let me upstairs? I... well... All right. This is serious. I'll help you. Here's the key, but please don't disturb the professor's things. I'd like to know a bit more about your professors. What do you want to know? I want to know more about Westerbrook. He's the head of our department. He's been here for, well, at least 30 years. He's one of the longest serving staff we have. As you've already seen, he's particularly interested in the wild beast that recently appeared in our city. Yeah, that's quite the unique fauna you have there. I've no idea how he did it, but Mr. Throgmorton's men brought him live specimens for his research. He thinks he's on the verge of a breakthrough in evolutionary theory. A secret that once revealed will benefit all humankind. <sighs> Some secret should stay buried. Six feet under. You're not a man of science, are you? It's not about why. It's about what if. What can you tell me about Professor Cavendish? He's one of the most brilliant teachers we have here. A PhD at only 25. Just imagine. His biochemistry studies are second to none. Worthy of a Nobel Prize. If he could complete his work. And what's his problem? I don't know. There's some kind of family trouble. It's made him standoffish and irritable. And easily distracted. I hope he gets through whatever he's going through. We need his talent, especially in these dark times. I'll see you later. Okay, let's definitely disturb the, their stuff. <laughs> Let go all through and... Oh. <laughs> oh, so this is, will be open now, right? Yeah. Okay, why this is here? Why? Or maybe they all the practitioners as well. This is absurd. It's been five months and they still haven't finished obeying my office. I'm done sitting in the corridor like some kind of waiter. I won't step foot into this building and again until the works are finished. Or you give me Cavendish's office. You tell that to the board. I'm through with this force. Water Okay. Really? He gave me the key, it's I still have to go the brute force. Exactly the same as the one with the poison. Which means it wasn't him. <laughs> oh. 
I hate you. Okay, they are showing me the way. No, there has to be something there. See? And these bottles look exactly the same as the one with the poison. Okay, yeah, but No, no, no. The sound is definitely go coming from here. Okay, maybe we'll find something later. It's worthy your attention. George Cavendish. Okay. Oh, there's something. Brothers and sisters crossed out. Too familiar. My fellow Americans crossed out. They are Americans too, citizens of Oakman. How much longer will we be put up with those fish-faced bass? Crossed out. Those sea freaks? Crossed out. How much longer will we put up with this? Those K for second degenerates who call themselves the EOD? Crossed out. There is something here. Thank you. Oh. This should be good enough to make a decent copy. Okay, it's gone. So let's look at the our uh, main castle, main palace, palace. Oh God, what can we make copy? Key. This. George Cavendish, a professor at Oakman University, is the poison thief. He made himself a copy of the key to the poison locker. According to his student, he lives somewhere in Advent. Nope. Nope. Yeah, I tried all of that. <laughs> Wait. Okay, and the lower. Okay. So we are done with the university for now. And nope. Do you wanna talk? Oh. I'll see you later. Nothing new. No, oh, we found everything. Then let's look at the casebook. He lives somewhere in Advent. Advent. That doesn't really help much. Do that. No, it doesn't help. Again. I'd like what do you Professor Cavendish? No. No. So I don't know. I hope he gets through whatever he's going mm. through. Okay, we need to find where he lives. Maybe in the... In here. <laughs> what was that? Oakman City Hall. Find about citizens. Can we use it like that? Hope. Maybe he knows. First of all, let's go. That's the way else. First of all, let's go to the City Hall. And we'll check archives. Yeah, it should be in there. Yeah, now, I, now that I think about that, well, it should be a place to go. They should have all the information about Oak, Oakmont residents. Okay, right around here. All right. I will be cutting uh, most of those loading screens if possible. Just and they tend to go a long time. All right. The whole place is new. Okay. 
market, nope. On this request, the guard's testimony, the evidence of the fish storage. No, 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 yep. <laughs> Subject, citizens. Registry. Advent. Citizen records. Name, George Walter Cavendish. Uh, Oakmont Mass. Advent Cat Advent Central Saint Michael's Michael's Road between Carpenter Street and Constitution Street, flat two. Bench Professor of Biology. Nice. Okay, so we know where he lives. Let's put it on the map. Advent. Oh, it's here somewhere. Carpenters uh, between Carpenter Street and Constitution Street. So somewhere here. Okay, we'll go the right way. Actually, like so. It will help. But no, actually, the blue marks are shown on the. Ah, the blue markings show on the compass as well, so it was unnecessary. Oh, ooh, what the hell is that? Can't really look at it. is that the marker? Please tell me it's not. <laughs> yes, I right now I'm more curious about this sub than the case. It's church, I think. I'd be wrong. Um. Yeah, it's some kind of a charge here. Damn it. Okay, okay. I'll go do what I must. But I'll be back. Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, okay. Seriously, what the hell is that? Hmm, looks kinda like a marker. In that space, if you want to know, makes everyone crazy. Look, we sounds oddly familiar, do familiar, doesn't it? Makes everyone go crazy. Makes everyone go on each other. Strange monster appear appearing. It just. Too many coincidences. Okay. Oh, right. Uh, which building? This one? Nope. It's called chemistry. Clear water. I don't see any place to enter. Wait, am I in the right? Between? Between Carpenter Street and Constitution Street, flat to Advent Central. Okay, so it is somewhere here. This one I checked? No. One, one. Maybe that's better. Hey, if you want to take it, it's free. What the hell? Why would you do that? Easy. Nope. Again. I keep on doing that. Judging by the layer of dust on it, this ring hasn't been worn in a long time. And why keep it around? Why keep it on the hanker, chief? Westerbrook usually has his lunch about half past two. Get some soap. Anna always stays at the fish market. She shouldn't learn about me. New holes of fish arrive every two days. An ounce per box will be enough. The guard spends most of his time on the second floor during the night. Think about a way to divert suspicions from Westerbrook. 
Don't want him to come to any harm. Don't forget to return the flask to the storage. Think about plan B. Going, going, going! Body count rises as vanishings continue across Oakmont. Locals are in a panic, with most of the reported disappearances occurring in the Shoals, Salvation Harbor and Grim Haven Bay. Captain Caleb Lyons of the Oakmont Police has put out a call for information. Our evidence suggests a link between these disappearances and the charity organization EOD. That has recent reason, reason to prominence and to prominence among the city's poor, poor, said Lyons. Most of the victims seem to have either joined this group or been a reci recipient uh, for of their alms. We encourage anyone with information to come forward. The Chronicle reminds readers to avoid any suspicious newcomers, especially in small fairs, and to remain at home during ev evening hours. Stay alert. God damn it. Of investigation, and the EOD is in the center of all of it. Disturbance in the shells as fighting breaks out between locals and Innsmouthers. The cause of the conflict appeared to be the disappearance of several women, with locals accusing a group of Innsmouthers of the crime. The Oakmont police continue to investigate the vanishings, but as yet, the case remains unsolved. One source from the Shells reports that traces of fish scales and seaweed were found at multiple victims' homes, which seems to have precipitated the fight. Whoa, don't do that. No. Wonder what we're gonna find. This is closed, which means we are definitely gonna go in. Oh. Took something out. I loved you. I always loved you. A lot of fancy dresses locked away in a dark corner for a long time. I'm starting to smell some deep family trauma here. A lot of dresses that are the same, just in different colors. You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George. I can't live like this anymore. There's something I have to tell you. I don't care what your damn EOD cult demands, Anna! I thought the child was mine! Mine! Okay. Okay. Let's see what we have here. George? I don't care what your damn EOD That was easy. You will never understand our cause! My child is blessed by the sea! I'm leaving you, George! George Cavendish. He had a wife named Anna. She had a baby that was not his, but blessed by the sea and claimed by the EOD. This caused their split. Are you? Well, what are you doing here? Calm down. My name's Charles Reed. I'm a private investigator. Right now, you look like someone who's breaking into my house. A, a, a burglar. I explain yourself. No, Cavendish. Time for you to do some explaining. Care to tell me why you poisoned the fish at the EOD warehouse? 
and you better not lie to me. Oh, sorry, is this making you angry? <laughs> yeah, two can play at that game, and believe me, I've got plenty of anger for the both of us. How dare you? I'm only going to ask politely once, then my gun will do the talking. Fine. Fine. Yes, it was me. But I had a good reason to do it. It all comes back to Anna. What's Anna got to do with all this? As you might have already gleaned, she is... was... my wife. Uh-huh. Yeah, it all starts to come together now. The EOD robbed me of her. It all started with the free fish. We were all short on food at the time, and then they hooked her with their nonsense about the benevolent sea and greater good. I looked past it for some time, but then... She became pregnant. Yes. At first, I was over the moon. But then one day she came to me, that snake, and told me that the child was not mine. She said it was blessed by the sea. That it was demanded by the EOD. Doom take them! I couldn't stand it. I just couldn't. Oh, this should be fun. What's your good reason for poisoning innocent people? You know the EOD are feeding the hungry, don't you? No. Oh, that's exactly the problem. They're not doing it out of charity. They do it to spread their influence and recruit new members. Some of those initiates, as they call them, vanish without a trace. And not just them. They kidnap ordinary folks, too. And poisoning the fish would prevent this how? Oh, you see, not everyone in this city believes in the EOD yet. They have opposition among the citizens, both rich and poor. A rumor of the EOD's fish being poisonous and several incidents would be enough to undermine the EOD by sparking fear and mistrust. There must be another way to deal with the EOD. Like, if their crimes are that obvious, why don't you just go to the police? <sighs> They're resourceful, those sons of hagfish. They maintain a squeaky clean image, and Kay, they're good at it. I tried going to the police. They were no help at all. And I'm not suicidal enough to make it public and take them to court. What did she mean, blessed by the sea? What do you think is the cause of Innsmouth Syndrome in people? Uh, living in Innsmouth? That K-forsaken place has nothing to do with it. It comes from breeding with monsters. These sea creatures they call Deep Ones. They take our women and they spoil them with their seed. Then they give birth to degenerate fish-faced offspring. Where did you learn all of this? This information about the EOD? After Anna left, I had nothing. But I did have a lot of time to research Innsmouthers, the EOD, and the story behind them. It is an old and powerful organization. They appeared back in the mid-19th century in Innsmouth, and the first people with the Innsmouth Syndrome started showing up around that same time. Ah. Oh. Perhaps not coincidentally. No, ah, of course not. And the EOD is immensely rich. The sudden rise to power of the Blackwood family happened right after they joined them. So what's your next move? I was interrupted and couldn't finish my task. The EOD received a fresh haul of fish, but now they're on alert and raised their guard. I understand I'm in no position to ask. But after reviewing all the facts I've presented to you, Mr. Reed, would you agree to help me? Keep talking. Now, what is it you want from me? Poison the rest of the fish. It's spreading, but it's not enough. The EOD trusts you enough to deal with me, so it should be simple for you. My agent inside the EOD reports that they've just received a fresh haul. That's your target. Thank you.
I don't wanna kill him. Hmm. But I don't wanna poison the fish, you know. Hmm. You're missing. Okay, I'll poison the fish. Your agent inside the EOD. Is he fairly high up the ranks? Ah, I see where this is going. You need something from the EOD too. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying to find a certain person who may be held by them. My my agent can arrange that. If someone is being held by the EOD, he'll know it. It's a win-win situation. All right. Look, I'm gonna need to think about this. Uh, of course, but don't be too long. I'm going to need an answer before I let you go. I hope you can understand why. Okay. Let's check out the mind palace. In... Oh my god. God is afraid you go. Is this? The EOD has much more going on than charity organizations. They're dirty, I know it, whenever the app isn't good. And let's see again. Poisoning was a sabotage. George Cavendish poisoned the fish to undermine the EOD's charitable operations. George Cavendish became desperate after EOD robbed him of his wife, who is determined to save others from the same fate. George Cavendish is a dangerous psychopath who won his day to kill innocents to achieve. Kinda? <laughs> okay, give me a second. To do that. Anna Cavendish became pregnant with a child that was blessed by the sea, as ordained by the EOD. A zealous servant of EOD. Anna Cavendish is a zealous servant of EOD and she will follow any instruction without hesitation. That's true. Anna Cavendish is covering up the EOD's shady ambition to take to take over the city. Anna Cavendish does honest charity work for the people of Oakland. Don't help. I think she doesn't know about the shady stuff that happens. Yeah, she. I think she's just stupid. Yeah, no, she's uninformed. And he's desperate, definitely. Okay. But that's gonna be it for now. Thank you very much. And bye bye.